what's up everybody welcome to a new video today we're going to be going over selling different tapestries and canvases on etsy ebay shopify you name it so as you guys know there are two different softwares that you could at least mo mostly like that people use for free two softwares there's printify and there is printful if you guys are familiar um i'm sure you guys are familiar i'm sure you've heard of it before uh, maybe you have tried it maybe you haven't um basically as you guys know you guys know i set up websites outside of youtube outside of all these different things where i like to sell uh dtc direct to consumer um and sometimes it's just as simple as creating a blog doing some marketing um and you know creating products for that specific website getting an audience and actually making money off those products uh the thing that interests me is for a long time i wanted to do like a canvas slash tapestry shop right like just specifically those things not t-shirts not all those other things even though i do have those other things i'm talking about just those two main categories and you could do that with printful and you could do that with uh printify now for me personally uh with printify they are a little bit cheaper with the way their canvases are and things like that uh but their tapestries are you know their shipping prices are not bad is really what i'm trying to say uh the price of the product 14 dollars and 10 cents it's not that bad either i can figure out you know how to sell it for more um but you know for me a tapestry you know you could do a lot of marketing with it, it they fit really large sizes um up to 88 inches i mean 88 by 104 inches pretty decent so i'm going to show you guys how i got this going so as you guys know i use unlimited photos unlimited photos i have a license with them where i can take photos that have been ph photographed by legitimate photographers really good photos and i can take those photos legally and i have actual license to take them and put them on products that i could sell uh, in fact one of the purposes that unlimited photos was actually created was for that purpose and no i do not pay the monthly price uh, that they they have if you go over to the incognito version let me go ahead and go to unlimited photos in an incognito version so i could show you guys if we go over here to pricing you could see there's a 11.99 a month or 8.25 a month depending on what plan you go with um i do not pay monthly at all i paid a one-time payment fee and i get access to all the images with license uh so if you guys want to see the whole video on that i've spoken about this before like i said if you want to see the whole video on that i'll leave the link in the description as well as the link to this actual website but they have millions of of things so you could search like for example wolf here and i'm going to use this photo right here this is a new picture that caught my eye i actually downloaded it already you guys can see here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload it right here so i could go over here i could click on my device and let's just upload this photo right here and you can see here it's uploading and what i like to do is i like to stretch it out a little bit and when i download it i make sure i download it in really good graphical quality uh, so that once it's stretched it looks pretty decent and we could check here the different sizes um, they're saying it's low resolution but it's really not because the the the, the uh when when it's printed out it's going to look perfectly fine it's you know the image is already high quality you could see how high quality the image is and you can see here the different sizes you got different sizes here and you want to just make sure you know you stretch everything out make sure it all fits but this might not be the exact image i would use just because of the way the image is, but you can play around with it. And like I said, this is some things I wanted to get into, and I figured I'd just show you guys and make a video about this since, you know, I didn't really record today, but I figured I'd just show you guys. And you could do this, like I said, with Printify, and you could do this with uh, uh, Printful. Now, there are different ways to integrate, so I wanted to talk about that for a second. If you're going to do it on Etsy, um, just be aware that they're going to take a little bit percentage of your profits. Just recently, Etsy had increased their the amount of profits that they take to up to 6.5% per transaction, aside from taxes, aside from things like that. So in terms of the money that's coming out of the seller's pocket, it's it's significant, especially if you know, you're on a tight budget, you're starting, things like that. If you go with eBay, I mean, they're just as bad, if not worse. Uh, then you have the website. The only difference is, is you get the benefits to more customers. So you can make money from different angles. Uh, you just got to be able to, I guess you could say, present the product in the best way. At the end of the day, the best opportunity is selling on your own website because you'll be able to, you know, um, essentially do a little bit better in that regard because, you know, you, you'll be able to charge completely what you want you won't have to worry about necessarily the competition 
Um, you know, because on Etsy, if you're selling on Etsy, you have to fall in line somewhat with the competitor. Somebody else is just going to buy your product, uh, but uh, or somebody else is just going to buy somebody else's product and forget about yours. Um, same thing with eBay. If your product is really, really overpriced, it's not likely that they're going to buy it. Uh, but you know, when you're you're on your own website, you have your own market that you can essentially create, which does change the game a little bit. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, this is kind of how it's done. It's nothing crazy. Um, the cool thing about this, guys, is that I'm using photos that I know that I'm legally allowed to use, right? Like, a lot of people will take photos from Pexels and do other things, and that's fine if you want to take the risk and do that, but I highly don't recommend it. I mean, if you, you guys know about Redbubble, other platforms, many people get deleted off the platform immediately for doing things like that with different stock footage companies. This is not considered stock footage because I'm actually paying for all the images with that one-time fee. So uh, this this image is technically low resolution. Now, if they print it out, it wouldn't be low resolution, uh, but uh, you just want to have an image that fits the, I guess you could say, the, the, the orientation. So if it's a landscape or a vertical style image, you want it to fit that. So like, let's just say like a landscape image or this image that's more vertical would do better with with something like this, right? So that's kind of basically how it's set up. Now, I could talk about this a little bit more. There's a lot of things I could talk about. Today's April 2nd, guys. Uh, we finished the first quarter of the year, and it's been really, really a hectic year. There's been a lot of things going on. Um, so I'm just trying to crank out these videos for you guys. I'm, I'm not sure how the, the system is going to be in the future uh, with the videos, but I'm, I'm going to make sure to keep cranking them out. Um, but like I said, there's going to be a lot, a lot of content that we're still haven't even explored or producing yet. Uh, I'm still going to be working on that YouTube series that I've talked to you guys about. I just haven't gotten around to doing it with creating the passive income for that. I haven't even started yet. Like I said, I've just been super, super, super busy uh, these past few weeks. So, um, you know, once everything calms down a little bit, I'll be able to jump back on and, and really focus here fully uh, by creating new content, things like that. But you guys could see here, this is just another method. Now, some of you guys might be aware of this, some of you might not. I don't know how familiar guys all of you are with the channel. I mean, we're always getting new viewers, um, and there are some older viewers. So, you know, we got a mix of both here. But with that being said, I want to know if any of you guys are doing this on your own websites through Shopify. Um, not, not necessarily through Shopify. There are other platforms. I'm just saying Shopify because that's majority of what people use, major, uh, Shopify is a huge platform. The only thing with Shopify is, as we all know, the reality is is about 95% of the people who start a Shopify store end up closing it down within three months because they're expecting that get-rich-quick scheme, that get-rich-quick tactic, that get-rich-quick idea. So, you know, with me personally, guys, the way I look at these things is that I know I'm not in it to get rich quick. I'm in it for a long-term stability of income. Now, the beautiful thing with Shopify or just having your own website in general is, yeah, you can get, you know, financially, let's just say, rich or do better quickly. Yeah, I mean, and I'm not saying get rich quick as in, you know, become a millionaire overnight, but you can make thousands of dollars within a period of a few weeks to, uh, you know, a few months. And I, when I mean the thousands, I'm meaning a lot of thousands. I'm not meaning two or three thousand. I'm saying, you know, 50, 60, 70, 100 grand in a period of a few months because you can actually control the advertising at that point. At that point. And it, it's actually profitable to do that, right? So like if I, you know, this product right here, let's just go back here in terms of cost. $14.10, $4.99 shipping for something that's 26 by 36, let's just say, right? Um, unless we could just view, let me see here, more details. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, nineteen ninety nine for something that's 50. Look at this, guys. 51, 51 inches by 60 inches, nineteen ninety nine. For a product like this, guys, with the shipping cost, which it's not going to be much, 4 or $5.00. You can do very well. You could charge double, triple, quadruple the price for that, and it could sell, and it could do very well, depending on what the image is. Um, like I said, there's easier ways to make money online. Uh, it just differs based on your skill set and things like that. So it is possible to do very, very well on these platforms, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.